In this video, I'll show you guys how you can fix a footer to the bottom of your website, no matter how tall the content is. So you'll see in this page, uh, the content is, you know, basically just about uh, this tall. And um, I'm also, I'm not using position of fixed um, to place the footer here. If it's a position of fixed, um, if we had much more content that was, um, you know, going past what we can see right now, that footer would always be stuck at the bottom there and it would be on top of content. But in my case, I have this position absolutely. So if there was much more content here, um, you know, we wouldn't be able to see the footer here because there'd be more content to see. And we would need to um, scroll down in, to the bottom of the page in order to see the footer. So this footer I have right here is position absolutely. And I think that is going to be a much better solution than using a position of fixed, um, which is going to uh, put the footer at the bottom of your website, but it's going to be overlaying content when you have um, you know, too much content on your site. So I'll just show you how this is done. Um, let's go over to the uh, markup first. And I'm just going to go into my header file here. And basically the way this is done is the HTML tag needs to have a height of 100%. And the body also needs to have a height of 100%. And this wrapper here is going to have a minimum height of 100%. So we can go over to the CSS file right here. And I'll just go to the top right here. And you'll see that HTML should have a height of 100% and margin and padding of zero. And then I'm just going to go to the body tag here. And the body should also have margin and padding of zero and have a height of 100%. And then nested within the body tag, um, I have this wrapper tag. And the wrapper tag contains everything in the site. And it is a direct child of the body element. And for wrapper, you want to set the min height to 100%. So it will at least be 100%, but if you have a lot of content in your site, like a long blog or something like that, you know, then it's obviously going to be, going to be more than 100%. And then we want to set the position to relative because we're going to set the footer. Um, the footer is going to be positioned absolutely um, to, this, um, to this wrapper element right here. So I'm just going to go over to my footer file just for a second. And you'll see here that the um, footer div right here is basically it's nested right within the wrapper tag so we're we're ending the wrapper tag there but inside of that um, we have the footer so when we give the footer a position of absolute and the um, the wrapper a position of relative um, this footer is going to be positioned absolutely uh, relative um, to its parent which is the wrapper tag so I'm just going to go over to my CSS file here and I'm just going to go down to that footer part. And you'll see here for my footer div, I've given it a fixed height of 40 pixels and a width of 100%. And it's positioned absolutely. And the left property is 0 pixels and the bottom property is 0 pixels. And that's basically all you have to do in order to get this to work. And no matter how tall your content is, whether it's 30 pixels, 40 pixels, or if you have a lot, the footer is always going to be at the bottom of your website and it's also not going to be on top of um, content as it would be if you are using a position of fixed.